wanted to say to all of you, you embody what Sir Robert Peel talked about uh, at, the accept, at the inception of, of what uh, law enforcement was becoming early on, and that is that the police are the community and the community are the police. You've spent very valuable time, your time, the most important commodity that you have, uh, with us, learning about us, even as we learned about you and what your thoughts were about various issues of importance today. And then to hear you talk about the different things as you were exposed to the full array of services that the Santa Monica Police Department offers. And I always say you can tell um, what's important to people by how they spend their time and what they write in their checkbooks. So since we didn't ask you to open your check registers, what we can say is we see how important this issue is, policing, your police department, um, by the fact that you spent 12 weeks, soon to be 13 if you, if you include the, the, the um, trip in the boat, um, and that's important. It's crucial because now you now have insights and information to be able to cut through what I call the noise about policing that you hear that's thrown at us consistently through media sources, through blogs, and certainly not yours, um, <laughs> through, through blogs, through uh, unsubstantiated sources. And while I think that Susie is right when she says we don't always get it right, but just because there's a problem somewhere, I'm fond of saying that that doesn't mean that there's a problem everywhere. And I would hope that what you would see is a dedicated group of men and women who come to work with the idea of making Santa Monica better and safer for everyone. And we were able to share some time with you so that you can see that commitment that we have. And we hope two things. If you have an interaction with us or you know of somebody, you now can steer them in, in the direction that will get them the most assistance to help us to begin to bridge the gap that we may have with that particular individual. And then the other thing I would hope that you would do is tell 10 of your friends about this experience. Because in doing that, we help to make Santa Monica a stronger, safer place, one community academy class at a time. And I challenge you to do that because this is an excellent program. It's been going on for many, many, many years. And we want to continue that trend because as long as we have people here, we've got 90,000 people we've got to reach. And we do it one person at a time and telling 10 of your friends. And we know that in the business environment, if we're not happy, we tell at least 20 people about not being happy. And then when something goes well, if we say anything, we tell one or two. So the only thing I'm asking is if, if you enjoyed this experience, tell 10 of your friends. I'm not asking for 30, but I'm asking for 10. I think that's a happy medium somewhere between 2 and 20, and I think that we can make this place much better, much safer as we do it together. So I thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule to spend time with us. And as they say in the airline industry, we know you have many choices for how to spend your time. We thank you for flying Team Sun. <laughs>
more than any amount of unpacking or hanging stuff on the walls ever did. Um, about the officers we met throughout this. <laughs> 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 to learn about and a fun thing to do. Um, my comment to Susie on the anonymous questionnaire we fill out every week, every week I put like, we need more time, we need longer, we need more. <laughs> so thank you everyone for allowing me to be a part of this. It was amazing. 